A little glamour, a little art, and a little history all in one to start your Thursday. Good morning, Southern Arizona. Thanks for joining us. We're taking you to the fabulous Tucson Gem and Mineral Show this morning. You don't even have to leave your living room. My co-host, Alex Steiniger, has been tasked with picking out some of the most amazing pieces being showcased this year, and he's joining us live. Hey, Alex. Heather Rowe, take a look at this beautiful piece. It's one of the most stunning ones here at the show. I mean, you're going to see all sorts of minerals, all sorts of exhibits, but this is, is remarkable because it's 113 pounds, and I'm here with Dr. Peter McGaw. He's actually chair of all the exhibits, co-chair of the entire show. Dr. Peter McGaw, it's a pleasure to see you here. Tell us a little bit about this Dragon's Lair Gold. It's great to be down here with you, Alex. And uh, this specimen comes from the Beta Hunt Mine in Western Australia. It's actually the second time we've exhibited it. It was here last year, but last year it was completely encased in the quartz that it was found in. This thing was found at 4 o'clock in the morning on Father's Day in Australia of 2018. And uh, so it was here on exhibit last year. It went off to the beauty shop, to a high-end mineral preparing shop, mm -hmm. and they carefully picked off little bits of the quartz until they got down to the spectacular piece that you see here. It's, it is spectacular. Again, 921 ounces of gold, and it sort of fits in to the theme for this year, which is world-class minerals. Why was that theme chosen? Well, it was chosen for a number of reasons. One is we have a theme every year, and we wanted to feature high-quality minerals uh, because that's what people come to Tucson for. It's also the 50th anniversary of the Mineralogical Record, which is a magazine based here in Tucson that has sort of helped people evolve their feeling of what a world-class mineral is. We did have people asking, so what is a world-class mineral? And you go, the simplest answer is if your house is burning down, what's the one rock that you carry out the door with you? That's your world-class specimen, and that's what we've asked people to bring is those rocks. Right, and it's the 66th year of the show. What do you think it is about this show, about the feeling here that keeps these exhibitors coming back and keeps all the buzz going around the show? Well, a lot of it is just the volunteer atmosphere of the Tucson Gem and Mineral Society. We're all locals. This is a nonprofit organization. We're dedicated to education, and uh, we try to make this a fun show to be at for our participants, our dealers, our visitors, uh, for everyone. And we think that's... Uh, that's the way Tucson is, and that's the way our show is. That's absolutely true, and I think you use the word fun very correctly because you come here, it's a jovial environment. Uh, even the police officers are running around, and, and they know about the minerals, too. So you guys should come out. It's now through Sunday, and you'll see some amazing things here at the TCC. So I'll toss it back to you uh, for now, Heather. Absolutely stunning. Thanks so much, Alex.